able to create clean and precise layouts for gemstones or jewelry designs in general, it can be very helpful to use two triangles together. This is a technique which is widely used to create technical drawings in different industries. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw horizontal and vertical lines and ultimately 90 degree angles using this technique. Before we get started, please prepare the following materials. Some triangles can be quite slippery as they have tiny plastic bumps on the side that faces the paper. I usually remove them with an emery stick. Sometimes also use emery paper to roughen the surface of the triangles. In general, it makes them easier to work with. Let's get started. Tape the white paper on a background, for example a tabletop. It should not move. Otherwise, this technique will not work. Put the triangles down like this. This is the starting position. The lower triangle must not move. The upper triangle moves against the lower. It does not matter which triangle is on the top and which one on the bottom. If you are left-handed, you can try to position the triangles this way. back now to the first position as I'm right-handed. I fix the lower triangle with my left hand. I use my right hand to move the upper triangle and to draw the horizontal lines. I also use the index finger of my left hand to stabilize the upper triangle while I draw the lines. In this way, we can create horizontal lines that are parallel to each other. If we use this side of the upper triangle, we can draw vertical lines. There is a 90 degree angle where the horizontal and vertical lines cross. 90 degree angles can be very helpful when creating technical drawings. Sometimes the triangles might slip or you need to carry on working on a drawing. In this case, you can just align the triangles again and carry on working. Repeat this exercise a few times to get confident. To learn more, check out my courses and online classes. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Bye bye.